So now let's see how we can work around with loudness normalization inside of Audacity. So I'm going to go around over here and press the record button. So this is an example audio that I'm going to work with. And over here, you can see that this is in a certain range. So the audio level is in a certain range, as you can see. So I'm going to select the portion of this audio clip right here. And then I'm just going to go around amplify this out a bit. So let me just amplify this by 0.5 dB right here. And I'm going to go around and then repeat the amplification. So I'm going to press Control R until you can see that the amplification reaches around till the end right here. So this is actually a bad audio because um, uh, because it is too loud. So what uh, usually studios do is that they normally have loudness around minus one dB at least. So to do that, I'm going to go around, select out all the audio by pressing Control A on my keyboard. And then I'm going to go around into effect. And over here, I'm going to go around onto loudness normalization right here. So once I do that, you can see that you can go around to perceive loudness or RMS right here. And you, you can select on how much you want to normalize. By default, it's minus 23, but you can increase that out as well. And if there's stereo channels, then you can enable normalized stereo channels independently as well. So in my case, I only have a mono channel, so I'm going to leave it as it is. And you can see that it's a street mono as dual mono as well. So this is recommended. And normally I don't leave this um, on as well. So once you're happy with the uh, with the settings, you can press OK. And now you can see that the loudness has been maintained out. You can see that the loud audio has now been normalized out into a normal audio. And this is much better when it plays through the speaker because um, the audio won't sound distorted. So instead of having loud voices, you can see that this is what you have. And now, as with any other audio, you can uh, work around with this. And that is how you can work around with loudness normalization inside of Audacity. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.